import pandas module and open the data csv file please watch my other videos on pandas module for better understanding info command is used to print a summary of data frame in our case it provides total number of columns as four the column names and total number of rows are given which are 31. These values are not null, meaning not empty. The data type of columns is also given. For date, it is object type. For some columns it is float and integer. Total memory use by the data frame is also given. Describe command is one of the most important command of Pandas data frame. It provides a complete statistical picture of the data. You get statistical information like count, mean, standard deviation, percentage quartile and so on. As name suggests, count command counts the number of records for each column. Max command calculates the maximum value for relevant columns of data frame. Alternatively, min command calculates the minimum values. STD command works out the standard deviation for numeric columns for you. Transpose command interchanges columns with rows. As you can see column labels have become rows while rows are column label now. Sample command randomly selects number of rows you have provided in the command. In our example, two rows are selected randomly. Add prefix command adds a text before the column labels. Similarly, you can use add suffix command if you want to add some text after the column labels. Here, I have added my before columns labels. With the help of apply command, we can apply any mathematical function to calculate the values for each column. I have applied some function. Oops. Some type error. Again run the code, it is fine now. As you can see it has calculated some of all the column values. For date column, it has concatenated all the values. With the help of rename command, we can change the index label by providing the value for key in a dictionary format. Here, I have changed index number 30 with day 31. EQ or equal command, test a value for all the columns of data frame. It returns true or false if it matches with the value. Two rows of stock A column have 55 values, so it turns true.
Filter command enables you to select columns of data by name. Just provide columns name as a list. Data will be filtered for only selected columns. With the help of sort command, you can sort data in ascending or descending order for a selected column label. I have selected sorting in ascending order for column label index points. New column is inserted using insert command. You would need to provide the index number for column, the new column name, and the data. I have provided list of data using list comprehension method. New column with name stock C is printed at index number 3 with values from 0 to 30. Mul or multiply command will multiply the whole numeric data frame or a particular column of data with a number. I have multiplied stock 8 with 10. Similarly, add command will add the entered number to every elements of the selected column. DIV or divide command will divide the whole column values with a number. Use greater than or greater and equal to command to test the given number for values in the data. The result will be either true or false values. Similarly, you can apply less than or less than and equal to command to get the Boolean values. Replace command is similar to find and replace command. Provide the value to search in the column and the value to be replaced. Here, I have replaced 55 with 70 in stock A column. The sum command will calculate the sum of all the values of particular column or for all the numeric columns of data frame. Similarly, cumulative sum command will calculate the cumulative sum values for each row of data. An interesting and important command is transform command. You can apply any user's defined function to apply on the data frame. As I have applied my function to multiply data values by 5. Finally, use take command to filter data based on the index number for rows. Here I have selected row number 4 and 10.